I didn't water my plant. I helped Alyssa erase the link. I wasn't friendly with Taylor. I wasn't? I thought I was. Eh, oh well. Uh, I rejected Warren's invitation. I wrote a message. I didn't tamper with the rail tracks. That's an interesting one. I didn't gain entrance to the Vortex Club party. I helped Warren and I told on David to Mr. Jefferson. What's going on? Ah, shit. We got time. Let's hope for a happier episode. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see That's so sick is. of people trying to control me. Don't I hate you, Nathan. I hate you more than it's anyone. Totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have yeah. great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Sure. Hey, Stelm and Louise, you're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Mm. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. God damn. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please. Don't you like that that got more attitude than Nathan being in that video? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. If I can impact the past, can I change? Can I save Kate? If I can change, if I'm able to change the past and have that video never happen, then that'll never happen. Can I do that? gonna try. If I find a way, I'm gonna try. Is it even morning? <laughs> That's good of you, Max. That's really good of you. I'm gonna show you meet me in front of campus. Get uh, some gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Yeah. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. 
Now Kate's family has to see their daughter's death all over the web like a cat video. And I'm even in this one. Oh, that makes me ill. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy jumped to her death today from the roof of a campus dormitory, with most of the students and faculty as horrified witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the victim, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled But more information is scarce at this point. Dozens of cell phones recorded the tragic event, which included an unidentified student attempted to talk the victim down. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Yeah. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste. What is this? Bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. What is it? Dear Max Caulfield, as you're no doubt aware, Blackwell Academy lost a valued and beloved student this week with the tragic death of Kate March. Everyone who encountered Kate, from faculty to student body, remembered her as a kind, intelligent, and talented person with a bright future. The staff of Blackwell Academy understands the social and academic trauma that comes with a public incident such as this, and we believe it's vital that we hear directly from the students that there are thoughts and concerns. We encourage you to call out 24-hour hotline to speak with a professional counsellor, no doubt what your question or situation might be. In other words, Blackwell Academy has your back. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Taylor? Evan, I don't even know you. I'll never forget you and never forgive them. You don't sound like a terrible person though, Evan. Alyssa, I'll remember your smile. She probably will. Father Lamo, Matthew 5 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. That's nice. Victoria. Requiesced in peace. I don't think I'd have accepted anything short of an I'm sorry, Vicky. Mark. We love you, Katie. The church cries. Courtney. I wish we hung out more. Zach. Blackwell Bigfoot's promise to win the next game in your memory. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Time is bunk, Douglas Adams. Epic fall. Maybe you shouldn't... Maybe you shouldn't have helped Kate. When we lose a game, nobody dies, just saying, yo. Burn, Serpent, Revelation 2010. The devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are also burn. Is Anonymous burning me? Hope you at least got a selfie out of this. You learn nothing. Dana, you're the only one who really cared, Max. Thanks, Dana. Hayden, ouch. Juliet, hey, I'd like to interview you when it's convenient. PM me. Anonymous. That chick splatted. Oh shit, you dropped her like egg. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Yeah. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Guess I'm better with plants than people. 
I am. Um, There's been so much going on, mad. I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. You know, there you go, are you kid. Happy bunny? Here, nosh on this. There you go, pal. Hey, bunny. Don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. There's some light for you, pal. Nathan. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... What does that say? Wherever you go, there I am. Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? Heroic in memory of Cape Marsh. I'm sorry, Kate. So we love you. Different. Someone wrote sorry. That's something, at least. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. I'm real sorry, Kate. I miss your light, Kate. Hey, Max? Come here. Hey, Dana, what's up? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? You okay? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. You were nice, Dana. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Yeah. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. Yeah. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? 100%. I'm just going to be one second. Oreo needs out. Come here, honey. There you go. Sorry. It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? To what? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Oh. Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Aw, Trevor you. is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Quite right. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how shitty it was to see Kate jump from the roof today. I don't have anything deep or smart to say, I just want you to know that you were a good friend to her. <sighs> I wish she had more friends like you, you've been so good for me when everyone, everything else is so fucked up and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Thanks so much for thinking of me, I keep seeing Kate jump. I feel like I could have done more to save her. Even Max Caulfield did more than anybody to try to save Kate. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dream of you tonight. That's if nice. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. 
Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper and want to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, Kate. Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. I actually don't think Juliet's coming from a bad place. I think she's right. <laughs> Hi Juliet, I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm kind of still in shock in the morning. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today, and maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Also not the worst advice. Oh, is this, this that? Sad it's sad and you. pathetic. It's the same thing. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. I'm going through her shit. Right. Why you no know, pick up my calls? <laughs> Miss you, Kate. My prayers for you, Kate. I am going to go through her stuff. Also, what is you say? I better go meet up with Chloe. Hold on. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might yeah. as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate. Those Quite boots right. are made for walking runways. I've already been in here. I've, not, I've already went in here. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. What does that say? Let me see here. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Fuck yeah. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. What's here in they here? They are getting loaded with Satan. I hate his stupid fucking face. I really fucking do. What's in That's here? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Eh, Thirty dollars isn't that much. Although I did not realize that there was more in there. Hold That's on. That's a lot of Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Hmm. Interesting. What have you got, well, bitch? Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Hey, sweet tea. What's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show. I've never seen the campus so quiet like everyone's hiding or crying. I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. I'm sorry too, Victoria. I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink stat, let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That Twemo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. Well, wow, my... For shame. How damn, how do, how do is he to have me rapping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on, you in? What the fuck, are you kidding me? That's bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kicking Mr. Mr. Jefferson for that retro camera era. Notice that everybody she hangs around with gets in trouble. And yes, the Vortex Club will be will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. A unique point of view is right. 
thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. That did happen. We well researched essay with a unique point of view. God damn. Victoria is about as <sighs> nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. What is that noise? That's someone in the shower? Hey, hero. Hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Where's Victoria? I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? Yeah. She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Yeah. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And I hope you're okay, too. You were the only one who tried to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okay. I did not want to comfort her. I was not in the mood to do that. Okay, so... Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Yes. And Victoria is somewhere or other. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Keep an eye out for Victoria. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Huh. And how the bollocks am I gonna... Feeling sorry for yourself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Maybe you should do something about that, Jackass. Uh, hey Max, don't want to bother you. Just checking in to see how you are. I don't know. I know today was. I know today was hard. You did more than anybody. You helped Kate. I'm proud of you. And if you need to talk, I'm always there anytime. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended, at least I'll call you later, Kay. Did Dad? No. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated, watch out. Just save it as Nathan. Uh, hey Max, please call us as soon as you can. We know this is painful and we want to know how you are. So please, please get in touch and if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. It was so good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about. You were there for f your friend. And she had nobody else and Kate made her own choice nobody could expect more than what you did you're our hero and we love you so much Maxine call us anytime if you need to talk or visit thanks mom um oh hold on 
Let's find out what's going on together. Hey Max, just thinking about you. You want me to leave you alone? Wrecked, shaking my nerves. I'm sorry, but you did what nobody else would. So I hear. At least I got Nathan Prescott suspended. Dude, you are a boss. Listen, something weird and scary has gone up black going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Yeah. I have no fucking plan. How the bollocks am I gonna get? Past him. How am I going to get past him? And the smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Right? Uh Okay. What am I going to do? <laughs> Can I? No. Broken lamp. Per? How long has this been broken? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe he doesn't know. I haven't told him. <laughs> told him. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Please leave me be. Great, he saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. He saw me? You sure? I mean, he's drinking. He might not remember. Set of keys on me somewhere. Jackass! Strikes again. Why won't they fit? Jackass. Claw? I need a hug. Oh my fucking god! Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary. Why would you do that to me? Asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. Don't scare me. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm. I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but. I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. I hope so. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Oh yeah. I hope so. I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are mm. bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice True. that Blackwell seems to be ground zero? Chloe, yeah. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Okay. Right. For one thing, yeah. there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Yeah. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Yes. Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. Hmm. At least David doesn't try to beat down women like Nathan. And even though I don't True know enough. her... It feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... 
I don't know. I, I don't think she's alive, Chloe. Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I I'll promise look, you. I'll will. look for her, like but you said, I. It's time to start the search for clues. I don't know. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. Really? You're such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Fair point. As long as you're my partner in time. Okay. Grown here. Okay, I want to break into the principal's uh, office. I want to loot some stuff. Thank I want it. So much for helping me put together a portfolio. What the fuck Hopefully is that? The rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wow. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? Oh, I'm going gonna... that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Yeah. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... What? Are you what? fucking kidding me? I am going so to kill you, Victoria. You're going to be dead. I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I'm a killer. Nathan first, though. Then Victoria. Chloe the Keymaster. Then the principal. You know it. Then Jefferson. Dude, then David. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention. Oh, I forgot about Courtney family. and Taylor. Also, don't fuck those. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. Yeah, I could be if expelled. I have a key, how can it be breaking? They get charges for just entering. I'm serious. Trespassing. Like jail. <laughs> not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find okay. out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Maybe I don't oh, know. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. You got it, pal. Look, 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 look. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making, I know I'm making sure the safety their safety is prime, my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my, st my statistics speak for themselves, as is 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as science teacher, but you have unfairly de uh, demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that 
I hope you will redact the petition and reconsider the cost of the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and security gear. God. I don't know, maybe maybe I shouldn't have signed that petition. Maybe I shouldn't have. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Hmm. Betty Elmer Fudd, isn't it? Chloe, have you unlocked the goddamn door yet? Come on! That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Fuck. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I d you that well uh, you did not too. need to explain yourself, Chloe. I oh, do not mean to to stereotype, but well, I thought that you were clearly a case. criminal. Why well, yes, I could. Right. Let me give the place a proper look through. Nothing here. Well, there's files, so that's a lie. Dead end. Boring. Hmm. You? Crap. Damn. Oh, oh, the keys. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Hmm. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. Okay. My plan has a name. What's my plan's name? Hey, Warren. You busy? Hey. Pal? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Bubble hearth. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Come on, man, talk to me. No, I'm just asking for fun. Mm. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yeah, that'd be ideal, my man. I'm sorry. Thanks, Warren. I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. <laughs> Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Don't even. Door. Don't even. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Hold on, let me read it. Sugar, soda no can, duct tape, sodium, can you stay something. Here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Mm. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, okay. Well, hold on. I didn't get a chance to open these drawers. Okay, Warren, what's up? Uh, nope. Pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Here's how you do it. You put, you get everything together. You, oh, you mix it all together. No. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I put the sugar and the sodium chlorate in a can then I duct tape the can, and then I light it on fire, and it booms. Any questions? Sodium chlorine. Who the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So, are you really going to try this? The keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Okay. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Sure. What's in here? No can here. Okay. I actually forgot what I was looking for, to be nope. honest with you. Doesn't anybody drink sodas here? Well, we could buy a soda, yes. Release the crack can. All we'd need to do is drink it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's all mine anyway. Exactly. 
I have can. Only three more items to go. Yeah, I'd also quite like to uh, pop into Mr. Jefferson's office and see if there's any uh, evidence. Oh, Kate, your locker looks so lonely. See if there's any evidence of uh, what they did. For blackmailing this is like purposes. This in a horror film. I'll fucking find the evidence. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I. Ooh, hello. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. That one should wait. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. <laughs> Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Well... Where did she even take this? That's better than that. That's bollocks. That's bullshit. And yes, emotions might be getting in the way. Work, but he does have some style. That's probably fucking fucking. Oh. Victoria's cigarettes. I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Mm. Right, 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 right. Mine. The tape is mine. There doesn't seem to be home, any evidence of being a whore. Uh, you still there? Did you blow up? No, I did not blow up, Max. Still here, didn't blow up. Not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Right. Okay. Science lab, baby. Well, this looks like where chemicals would be. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Who the fuck did this? That's hilarious. I got trophy. Histogrammer. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, science? Book? Talk to me. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd mm -hmm. think Warren would have told me that factoid. Hmm. Cool. Weed killer. That may, may be you, okay. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Do we? Good evening, fish, fish. Hey. Photo! <laughs> All right. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Thank you. I'll turn that off for you now. Please resume your I got a trophy, the reflex. Okay, a weed killer. And what was the other thing I needed? Just salt or something? Ah, sugar. That's what mm, it was. Sugar. Not salt. Only one more ingredient left. Hold on. I am minus? snooping. All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Fucking yeah, he did. What is this? Ass biology. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Periodic table. Periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. I don't know. Okay, so weed killer. A janitor's closet? 
right. That would have... One would think. Now, if I was a janitor's closet, where would I be? Probably like hmm, like here. I probably though. should find those items now. Oh my god, what do you think I'm doing? Janitor's closet? Uh huh. No. Okay. Just a random room. It's not helpful to anybody. Gotcha. Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. Well, don't tell me it's a weed killer then. Don't make me think I've got to go outside, maybe. Come on, Max. No one knows how small my brain is more than me. Don't confuse it. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Sure. Weed killer. Weed kill graffiti. Oh. I never said they were great. I had Troll. sex with your mum. Hmm. Oh. That's so mean. Also, it, untrue. Also, I've taken like two selfies. Where in the holy fuck is this weed killer? Do not open. Thanks. Here's the sodium chloride box. Take it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. I don't need to be judged, Max. Okay? I don't need that. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Fuck yeah. Do I just go back? I don't need to make it here and then run? That'd be fine. Okay, so have I actually got limited rewind power this episode then? I might actually get into trouble. That's bad. So not a... I made a bomb! Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! It's gonna Does be loud. Like the candle? This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. And then I'll rewind time on the other side of the door. That was so fucking cool. Hmm. It's very ninja. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Well, I think we need to run. Go in real fast. Wait, where the fuck is the- there's the fucking door. Find something, find something, find something, find something, find there's gotta be something or other here. Why is there nothing here? Why is there nothing here? Why is there nothing here? This was my plan all along! <laughs> Chloe! Welcome to my domain. It's bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> you are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. 
Man, yeah, I remember? Can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. Mm. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. But it doesn't lock. It doesn't let anyone in. Well, admittedly, actually, I was in yesterday. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. Fair I'm enough. gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. What do you see? Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Can you not? We are on this is a mission. A chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Mm. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. 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 Bonk. What's up? So did you blow the lock? <laughs> okay, Warren. Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Alright, what does this Kate's file? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Update at present time there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Uh, brief summary, Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students of Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBay 7 News and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to experience some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under stress, duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Only two more files to go. What is that? You're not so tacky up close. What is this? That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as personal of Blackwell Academy, it's my... Glad, happy, fortunate duty. To inform you that... Your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operations. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern. Oh, sure you did, bitch. For possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. Hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best Principal Wells. Dick. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Okay. And nothing here. Okay. What's in here then? Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to include her academic ex excellence. Hi, me! <sighs> 
brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams and with Blackwell as the fulcrum. You okay, honey? Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Uh, Principal Wells, this is uh, Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue. Once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks to all your help. Blame the principal for expelling Chloe. No one does. She's the Bad worst. Uh, blah blah blah. Bruce Arnold Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent uh, to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments, pardon me, and rude gestures to follow students. To fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non mandatory institution. Update Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Alright. Let's nap. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Of course he does. Brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with being a wanker. With a stellar ac academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund, Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. This can only be bad. Brief summary. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers back her up with quiet intelligence, uh, back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. <laughs> Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. But this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Uh, update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Brief summary. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club. Among other organizations dev devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Whatever. Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Brief summary. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab. Of the gift or curse, sorry, of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is 
uh, not confirmed by a science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I haven't read this. I haven't read that. Max, the fuck? Max, you better come check out these files. What? Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. Uh -huh. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. Mm. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Probably. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least right. Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. Print it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's of not what? a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? What? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen I to this. I think that's the room David Kate was M talking about. David M always asks what's going on in my head. David M always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David mm. was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got right. our info. Let's bail. Print it. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? No, they do. Did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello. What is what that? We here? What is that? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha Ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I'm not going to take the money. Leave it, Chloe. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? If I that actually that, is the handicapped fund, we can't it, right? take it. There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes... Moral Max is right again. Hmm. I guess. I normally am. Out of this office, Morg. Just say it. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan. Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day. Without a proper write-up for his files, Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behaviour patterns that may need supervision Pardon me, beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these, tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached file for the full report. Update expunged report. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behaviour patterns. We're certain that this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged, dis expunged disciplinary warning report. Damn. Blackwell incident reports. Following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. 
which suggests his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian. Custodian. Attempted theft of campus Tobanga statue? Rachel in the dark room. David Madsen and Nathan, Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule. Drug mule. In Mr. Madsen's t uh, talk radio terminology, acting as a f uh, front of another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he would show me. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit, visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. They would deny this and give the... And given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. What the fuck is this school? Like, fuck me. That impish look scares me. Yeah, what the fuck have Care you done? for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's sure. been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Sure. Splish Splash. Sure. Did you actually just say hella? Yeah. I think I'm a good bad influence on you. All right, what we got? We should lock the door behind us. That would be smart. That's what I would do. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still Ooh. have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You yeah. can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Sure. Go otters. Alrighty, then. What's the plan? Boys or girls? Girls? Girls, of course. Probably cleaner. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. What? What the... I, am I am I being judged? Who's Those this? are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Ew. Where does that other sock go? Okay, people have set lockers. That's interesting. So Victoria's secret is selfies. <gasps> go fuck your. No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool sh A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Huh. Otters beat beavers. The wit. It burns. Eat beavers. Oh! Is Chloe here? That? Okay. We're not gonna pick that up? Towels. Whose locker? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Yeah, I bet. That's that's exactly what I tried to set up, and it didn't fucking work. If you can believe it. I just want to have a uh, pizza doodle. I'd like to see. Uh, What's in the boys' locker room? If that's all right with boys you. Boys or girls? Boys. Boys, of course. Not because I, I don't think this matters. Girls. Let me at check all. to see if the pool's heated. All right. Let's see. 
I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Awful. Logan, you I bastard. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dina, I know I'm an asshole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. That's why I sexted with another girl. The love. Ooh. Some poor hipster lost their vape. <laughs> right. Warren. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? I don't know. Probably because he's in love with us, Max. Ugh. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Yeah, it's probably pretty stinky, yeah. What's that? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? <laughs> Zach. Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Zach. Just wear a crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Okay. Well, that apparently killed the mood. <laughs> oh, man. Nathan. Nathan. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Ah, that checks out. Yeah. Sometimes no worries, it's all bad. Sex me up! Boys' locker room is right. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, pissing balls. I didn't look all the way through. God damn it. Huh, Victoria loves Victoria the D. Loves something besides herself. <laughs> suppose so. Max is a Welcome feminizer. Well, I know who fucking wrote that. He fucking messaged me. He was so I, I love Warren can. Graham. Graham. Gotcha. Gotcha. Very clever. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Maybe. Maybe. What is that? Soap. Uh, I'm gonna check if there was any more. <clears throat> Oh shit. Well. Oh fuck. She's gonna be raging. Uh, lifeguard. Oxygen tank. Jesus. She's sitting going, where'd she fucking go? Yes, we get it. Otters. Yeah. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, the big plan is... win. Win. It's a good plan. It's got a simplicity to it. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Man. I've just ditched Chloe. I don't even know how to deal with that, actually. Doesn't appear to be anything in the showers. What the fuck was that? Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Sorry, Rachel. So, what the fuck is that terrifying noise that's making noises? Oh, what's this say? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Yeah, it's really sad. I hope Rachel so, abides. Huh. What does this say? A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. Dear Kate, I don't care, God. Hey, pal. 
Presto! Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Fair enough. Brooks, did I Looks do like that Brooke one? Wants to go to yes, the I, did, I did, I did, I did. Okay. So what's the plan? Skinny dip or what's going on here? Do you have a plan? I didn't bring my swimming clothes, so... I don't know what's happening there. So I'm just having a wee... ponder about what we're gonna do. Checking if there's anything of interest here. You know what I'm like! I'm nosy. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Well, give it time. Give it time. Ooh. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Good, good, good one, Max. Good one. Love it. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, Looks hello. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Ooh. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. I'm not gonna do that one. As funny as I think that would be. As funny as I think that would be. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not their fault they wanna get into the popular kids club. Ooh, yeah. I was scared my big head wouldn't fit under that. But it did. All right, Closter. It's like coaster. Get it? Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Uh, I don't like sharks. They bite. They do. So do I. Hit that light. I don't even know where to look. I've looked everywhere. I... Is it light? In... That's a light. But it doesn't it's not for this. Be a control panel for the lights around here. Oh, I've got it, babe. My lord. That's nice. What what the fuck where the fuck did you get what? Excuse me. Excuse me. Chloe. What the fuck is this? Where's your clothes? Time to do or dive, Max. Where did... Where's your clothes? Oh, there they are. Fair enough, here I come! You alright? Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Well, Tell me in fairness. Watching me like a zombie. I'll come. Don't you dare! Come Whoa. stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. I'm a happy. All right. Woohoo! Nice, nice. Why, Very look, nice. An otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> you are so. You're awful. not a shark, and I Chloe. And I'm freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Quite right. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> what does that mean? I wish Rachel was here. Yeah? She would totally love being in here at night. Yeah? Wish you guys had met each other. We will. 
With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. Hmm. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're yeah. not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, oh, my friend. Thanks. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Yeah. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Thank though? God. But what if I had? What if you and yeah. Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Sure. Absolutely. Sure. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Oh, that's nice. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? Okay. And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. That's it. Warren yeah. is nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. Pretty much. Oh, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. Okay. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Sweet. Now I'm getting cold in here. You're getting cold? Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's go. Sounds good. Draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Like, we're gonna get caught. I'm very sure of it. I'm quite concerned. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Mm. Thanks. You would know. <gasps> Hi. Ah! Told you. Okay. Sneaky sneakers. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Are you shitting me? What the fuck? What? Who was in there? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? I have no plan. At all. At all. At all. Where the fuck am I gonna hide? Hello? Anybody there? No. Better not try any <laughs> Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. You didn't, though. That's the thing. You didn't. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! That's bad. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Okay. Well. <gasps> we are so invisible. Don't frighten me. Let's bail. Uh, where did you hide? I didn't see you hide. I deaded. I got deaded. Oh. Wait. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. 
Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at what? my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Exactly okay. what she said. Into the car. Get in. I bet Nathan's car breaks. Yes, we so are. I'm quite concerned for my safety. Okay. All right. What shall we do? Where are we? Or what's what time is it? I should probably be at school. Just say it. Wakey wakey. We got stuff to do today. Always remember it. this moment. You got it. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Nice. Good one. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. Yeah. I'd All like right. to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every okay. great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. She's right. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. Yeah. If I could find Rachel and pay Frank off, I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Fair enough. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Yeah, I gotta go to school Maybe we though. we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I might. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school mm. schedule again. Yeah. What's that music? Turn it off. God damn it. How many times, Chloe? Okay. How many times? Bob. At least we haven't been identified. Yet. I thought it was on the laptop. I can't turn it off. I have been bested. Alright, uh, incident. Police and yeah. fire department tried to break in and vandalism Blackwell Academy campus around one uh, Pardon me, but I have one. <sighs> Police have been, uh, have not stated if they have any suspects yet. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckinap Road at approximately 8.52. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and a me metaphetamines? Metaphetamines. <sighs> he is being held without bail pending further investigation. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. A local service will be held at 2 on Saturday uh, for Kate Marsh, who died on Tuesday. The family asked for donations sent to her church group, Care of Blackwell Academy. They plan a private service and burial at another location. Okay. Sounds good. What's this? Chloe is so damn cute. Yeah. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. 
Um, well, to be fair, we I'm should. Lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Mm. Get dressed. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. That's probably not we'll a problem. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Yeah, maybe. Shit. Okay. What is in here? I don't think I'll be washing today. <laughs> okay. What is in here? Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But Sounds good. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. She's you got us there, Max. Going back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Yeah. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. All right. Sure. You dared me, bitch. My core, Max. You dared me. I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl on girl action. Which he probably is. Door. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Yeah, that'll get her. Suck it! Don't dare me. All right. How do I look? Looking sick, Max. Badass bitch. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to. Shaka uh, bra. Wake up first. I promise sure. not to tell. Okay. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Cool. All right. I am leaving. Have I checked here? Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Lol. Alright. Ooh. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel's so touching. Hmm. Yeah, two condoms in a wallet for the record. That means that they don't work no more. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Yeah, she kept a lot of weird things. Alright, I'm leaving. Probably should have left through the window. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Miss Caulfield, I want to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. You must know you did all that was possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands, or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be with us, and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard March. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. Uh, by the way, the drive-in <laughs> is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll have an extra one in case you change your mind. Go with... What's her name? Stealth. I should just leave. I can't just leave. Why can't I just leave? 
Hey, Joyce! How are you? Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Wow. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'd love pancakes, actually. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. <laughs> so this time, you can help me with the ingredients. Sure I need thing. You to grab me the eggs and milk. Okay. Eggs and milk? No problem. I can do both of those things. What's well, in here? Still have the same refrigerator. No, open it. We need the. What? The, what? Where the fuck's the milk then? Where do you keep the milk? Oh, it's already out. Wonk. Now for the mother's milk. And eggs, which are obviously in a bag. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I got the stuff, Joyce! Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. Fucking yeah, it is. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that I too, hope Joyce. So. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Yeah. Or wherever she is. Yeah. I think she was in trouble. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. Yeah. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. Good show. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? I don't think so. No, no. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you Thanks. and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks, but it Thank seems you. like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> you were only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all right, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Are you sure I'm not going to get my ass handed to me when he walks down and he's like, Hey, what's Max doing here? Breaking the law and all that jazz? That'd be bad. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Flash no and freak eclipse apocalypse soon. Student leaps to public death at Blackwell Academy. Yeah, damn. I'm sitting, I'm ready for the meal, Joyce! Five pancakes, please! Big ones! And look like five. Joyce, Thank there's you two so missing. Much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, there, you can clean. There, oh. But I made it. I have to clean as well. Fine. But I'm not happy about it. You better not be copyrighted music you're humming, Joyce. What the hell are you doing? Seeing you again. Oh, I was wondering what the fuck was going much. on. <laughs> I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. 
Oh, My favorite thank photographers you. probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. Hmm. You have your own cool style. Thanks, Joyce. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, no, not a, I don't. I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. Joyce, I cannot this take the, the last picture your so late husband baby. took. I can't do that. Did you guys have oh, a good. bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always a Sort of. <laughs> Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. There's pancakes. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? <laughs> Just listen to yourself. Nobody okay. else does. Good job, Chloe. I do need to get into David's computer. Sure He's do. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Mm. Try again. Okay. I need more clues. Uh, what would it be? Joyce? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I don't think he would put stepdad. Although, have a sweet 18, Chloe. I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. Wow. Hmm. Let's try. Stepdad. Hold on. What is in the cupboard? Nothing hmm. to see here. No. What's that? Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Oh, yeah, the TV show. Nothing shit. in it. Uh, Chloe can't get another gun mm. now unless she steals it back from which would be bad huh. which would be real bad maybe this ID number might work mm. maybe I was thinking more as army uh, platoon or something like that I could try the license number for the password I don't see how that would yeah, I just don't see that. What's this? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Huh. Trophy. Search? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Wow. Okay. Hey, tape? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. It might be, actually, yeah. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. <laughs> what about this? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. It was an honor. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know that gentlemen still exist. I'd uh, love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce if you forgot. <laughs> it might be a useful password. 
Eggs and sausage, toast and coffee. Huh. That's probably it. I suspect that's it. Ooh. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Huh. All right. I think I've got it. I think it's family related. I think it is 112708. Score. Boom, bitch. Again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel visits her dorm. Followed Rachel to, light, to Lighthouse. Uh, Rachel. Uh, Officer Betty, who was the one that took our statement. Which means he might be useless. Uh, was picked up at 2.35. Uh, Blackwell Academy possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madison, uh, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate M follows. Same path to every class. Over here, Kate and Dana talking about supplies for Vortex Club party drugs. Well, watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? <laughs> Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> All right. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party, not even church drugs. <laughs> David, fuck off. Try to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Max online aliases, Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir Angel. How did you get those? my class schedule. That's a concern. I better tell Chloe about this now. Well, can I lock it again? Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Morning. So, no, can uh, hello. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. I'll take her. <clears throat> nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. Okay. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Yeah. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Okay. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her. This than is you. not a good no. costume, if everyone you and knows. Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He Thank threatens you, Joyce. them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. It's not yeah, lying, I'm just though. Always is starting it? shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. You're a bully, David. Yeah. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. Yeah. You could have totally helped her. Yeah. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, Hundred percent correct. Room, that's illegal. So is spying oh, on your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Thank you. Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe That's your you wife. Calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Come on, well, screw man. Screw you, David. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. This isn't it's your fun. house, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. Sure thing. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I want to talk to you, pal. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Are you dense? Two girls are dead on your watch. And you've accomplished nothing. Nothing. Absolute horseshit. Hey, Joyce! Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Not beating me up. Fuck him. Hey, Chloe. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I will not rewind this one. Let's go. Listen. All right. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Yeah, I think we need to open him up as a suspect. More than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Because that's a terrible have. idea. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. Mm. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have He's anything. He's fucking there. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Sure. What could go wrong? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. <sighs> Shipples. The puppy's okay, in there. The I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. I could just run and then <laughs> grab them and rewind, right? In theory, that could work. Chloe! Okay. Um... um, 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 um. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Hey, Dad. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't got in touch sooner. I know you're upset, but your mom and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of your control. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door's wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pops. It's been intense here, but I'm not ready to come home. Talk later, Maxo. Yeah. Hello. 
It's a dead bird. This is so creepy. Was that me? Nope. One mate. Uh, a dead bird. Hello. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the oh. snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, right. I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. Never too Forever late. Kid. Never too late. Alright, so... Let's... Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Right. Good morning! I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I could spill his food. Probably the same reaction, huh? Hey, Pop! Let's talk. You have serious balls, little girl. Can you not order a haircut? We playing with guns and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a How obvious is this outfit that it's Rachel's? Camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I wow. just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Sure. Sure, sure. Wait, is Nathan here? Nathan. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. Shut Lucky up. This is a public place. Considering we're in a or public what? diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Dumbass. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Shut up. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, <laughs> That didn't work, Max. you moron. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in <sighs> Nathan, right. you don't want Plus, me as an, an enemy. Adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy shit, what do you want now? What did your father say when you your came home? Your sugar daddy will always protect you. Oh, oh yeah! You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. He literally messaged me and threatened me like you're Why? a little bitch. So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. Oh, I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy no. shit. Drugs for sale? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm Dumb down, up. hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy Hold on, shit. though. What's I this? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. 
Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Right. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Righto. Hey, pal. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Thanks Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing yeah. Blackpool Academy. We're town, huh? Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Anything on Kate? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Yeah. Such a waste. Awful. Yeah. Do you think of David? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Right? He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Yeah. <laughs> what can I do for you, Max? Uh, Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Yeah. Oh, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family right. once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. That I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. So he does own the police. We'll chat later, Max. Well, no, 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 no. I'll need to rewind. What can I do my for you, Max? I wanted to ask you about Rachel Nathan and said Frank. That Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Okay. Hey, man, that rabid mutt. I heard something about okay. Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Yeah. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. God. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to oh. his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? We will do our best. What can I do for you, Max? I want to ask you about the deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't yeah. blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Okay. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Of course. What can I do for you, man? Nothing. I'm good. Hey, short fuse. Talk to me. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a baby. Know anything about that, Bullshit. jackass? My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. You called me a virgin last time, you fucking moron. Blood oath? You fucking weirdo. How did you save dogs? Max, so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. Yeah. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Great. 
Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Well, at least you're smarter than you look. Hmm. Mine? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Sure. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Fucking crazy, my powers. Crazy. Alyssa? Alyssa, what are you doing? For fuck's sake! Alyssa! Alyssa! Alyssa, back off! Back off! Back off! Quit thinking, Max. You are welcome. <laughs> that was close, fucking Alyssa. hell. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. I was thinking that. What's you going on? Like Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. I saw you try and save my friend Gate on that roof. The only one who did. While people took camera pics. Yeah. Yeah. Kate was my friend too. I would have done anything to save her. Everybody saw that. I'm proud of you for being so brave. You're pretty cool, Max. That's thanks, not how Alyssa. I feel today, but thanks. We need to hang out more. Drink some wine. <laughs> sure. I have to go, but let's talk later. Cool. Cool. Right. Alrighty then. Do you have plan for f X dog fighting ring dog? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it. Do 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 do. Now let's get in and out. All right. You'll need this, Max. Where the fuck did you get this? On your mark, get set. Walk him. Throw. Don't throw it towards the road. The That's fucking monstrous. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now I, I do. Can snoop it's a good piece. one. But let's not waste time. Imagine throwing it into the road. The fucking hell. Busy now, but he might come back. You got it. All right. So let's. Damn. Oh my I lord. My room was a shithole. Right. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. I mean... He's a bit creepy. You know? Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Chloe, you're yes, a problem. Did <laughs> you know that? You're a problem. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Yeah. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Daydreaming. Hmm. Okay. Watch the door and I'll look about. You scope oh. the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. I wonder Frank is indeed. almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Hey, look a baseball bat. A knife. A dog bowl, dog food, a bootle, a Chloe, uh, a candy bar, a hi fi, a what? A baggy, ah, oh, for the dog. The crappy Wi Fi out here. It's taken days to download the porn. Yuck. Or he just watches it online. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Hmm. Well. Huh. Yeah, that is a problem. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? 
or both. Well, they're blue pills. You know what that means. Hey. That's a pretty extreme lighter. I thought that was the gun, but it isn't. Which is a problem. Is Frank going to deal online now? <laughs> Can you imagine? All right. What the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. Whoa. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Well, this is where I would keep my drugs if I was a drug dealer, you know? I can't get this one off either. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Well, what is this? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Yeah. Shame he's a psychopath. Um, I could use a knife? This is almost as good as a set of keys. And I'll have nothing else. Okay, excuse me. Alright. Pry that, that bitch open! open any Don't cut yourself, though. That's for damn sure. Thank you? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. Icky. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frank B! Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor... Pompadour? Uh, there's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel... Uh, feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's drive out of here forever. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel huh. really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. Uh, Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me. I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that act that way, and next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, so maybe we need to break our routine. Damn. There we go. I'd rather him not know that we were here, if possible. What is in there? Ooh, Frank's stash. Could just burn it. Just to fuck him. Uh, right. Uh, pry this. Pry. Pry. What? 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 Why? What? Open. Can I have? Uh, I think I did the thing. And a furry mask. Stop saying shit like that. Look. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. Because you're reacting pretty friend, badly. Huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on the stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is Wow. Missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe. Well, that's not helpful. Although it is funny, actually, because he has no idea they're missing. Hi! Your dog's out. Is that not a concern? Okay. Cool. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Yeah, it's you're so not exactly fair. a picnic. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Would that be... I mean... 
grow up. Grow up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but yeah, like you're come not on. the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Yeah. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know. Remember? Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad. Okay. That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life. Get it? That's so not what I meant. My fucking dad, of course. Hello. William? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. Wow. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. He dies. My mom actually blames herself. What? Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish yeah. that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, enough of you that. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. Yeah. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this Come on, my own. Chloe. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Yeah. Let's not do this. Please. I forgot all about school. All about it. <clears throat> well, that didn't go so well. Hey, Salem. What the fuck? What is happening now? All right, hold on, Salem. You need to move. Thanks, pal. Did I just access the past? We good? That's it. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Uh oh! I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Chloe. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I just went back just, in time. A uh, lot. More yeah, than I okay. usually do. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Am I that far back in time? Jesus Christ. I'm 18 years old inside my 13 year old self. How? That's a concern. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here. Oh my god. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Yeah, come on. Smile. Just make me look young. I'll do my best. Make you look alive. I am when your mom's away. I got a trophy flash. I'll let her know that. Okay. I know I've seen those pictures before. Oh. Okay, so I have an idea. 
I'm gonna I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll get it. No, no, no I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll answer and I'll say you're busy. No. Making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop or... taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags. Whoa, it's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's try and disconnect that phone, shall we? I am when your mom's away. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Okay, fuck yeah. I'll let her know that. Fuck yeah. Ring ring. Joyce. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? How the fuck am I gonna do this? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Okay. Second plan is a good plan. Walk this out! Disconnected. And now... I just have a nice, nice day. Bitch. Hey, honey, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Either. Joyce loves William so much. Shortly. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Where are your keys? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. For us to feast upon. <laughs> I will think of... Ridiculous. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Okay, okay. Shit, where okay. are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! It is! I know they never took that big vacation. Where are your keys? Gotcha, bitch. Got you now, motherfucker. Can I... What the fuck? Oh, shit. Was, were they not there? Fuck! <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I wish I could pickpocket him. Wait. Is that not unplugged now? Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. I haven't done much. What? I like this. I can go back to photos. You know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. It's now really I have cool. an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse Where are your me, ladies, keys, I bitch? The yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You, you heard her. Fund. Keys, please. Where are they at, Boyle? Aha! Wah! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Ain't nobody. Wait, where the fuck did it go? Your hat is what? What? Why? 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 Fuck. That's a real pain in my ass. You know that? Real pain Hello? in the ass. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had <sighs> groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. 
Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She I am raging. Bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where am what I? What does that say? Full butterfly. It will have to do. Hmm. Keys, please. Now where are your keys, you bish? Open them up so I can grab them. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the. Aha! Fuck. How the fuck? Careful, Max. William can totally see you. But at least now I know! I mean, I knew before, but for some reason, that didn't count. Score! Many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? I wouldn't look in a plot. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Probably wouldn't look in the fridge either. Look under your hat. If they're not under your hat, you should probably stay here and not die. Boom, shaka laka. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? You are a right fucker, you know that. In Max wine tasting session. Dad, don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Oof. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, that's such a nice old guy. That's such no god. <laughs> it's really mean. Grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I? How do I? Where? Where do I? Where do I? Where? 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 Where will I hide? Oh, where? Oh, where? What is that? Nothing. That's gonna ring too. where are those keys? Don't, 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 don't. Where the fuck will I put them? Yes! That'll work! That'll muffle! Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I saved your dad's life! I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Suck it! Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. Spy you can take guy. the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. Yeah, and that'd be much safer. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh Thank yeah, you. the bus is great. It comes every fifteen minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and. And no one dies. You sold me already. Cool. Under bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. It's Saved your life! Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel life. okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. No. Fuck. Understandable. So, I think I fairly saved the day here, what the fuck? Oh shit, hey! Chloe's life is better. Awesome. Whoa. I heard that the vortex club parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you ah! Maxine? Sorry. It's just your face. Every day. 
Never vaccine. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Uh, not passively thrilled with this future. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like yeah, Courtney. Bitch. You whatever bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? That's fine, that's good, that's what we're counting on. We did great. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Where is she? Morning. Hi. It's all good. We're fine. We're fine. I've just irreparably changed the future, that's all. God damn. The eclipse hasn't happened, though. Although that's a concern. Also, apparently me and Victoria are friends, so that's not cool. Either. I'm part of the Vortex Club, which I'm not sure how that's gonna work. No. I don't think I will. Well, holy shit. What the fuck? Why are whales beaching themselves? That's weird as hell. Can I still use my power? I probably should have checked that. Chloe? You in here? Max oh. Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hey, William. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Great. Chloe, you have a visitor. Chloe? Chloe? What happened? How'd that happen? Shit, okay. I got a trophy chaos theory. So that's good. Oh, you're not telling me how I did? There we go. I left the money. I kissed Chloe. I saved with Chloe. I kept Frank's dog from harm, I assume. And Frank has David's gun. Okay. I mean, the don't, though. I missed it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Lisa is alive? Lisa is dead? 
Lisa? Wait. Who's Lisa? Apparently I saved someone's life. I don't know who Lisa is. Okay. I didn't help Warren with his exam. I didn't need to, he did great on his own. Uh, I'm on the Vortex party list. I didn't change the Vortex club party list. I didn't erase the cop's message. Well, in my defense, I didn't hear it. I helped Alyssa. I didn't warn the home. Oh my god, I've really fucked this one up. I didn't take a photo. Yes, I did. You lying bitch. And I didn't leave it. Yes, I did. I did both those things. Fuck! Stupid William. And his stupid spy finding the keys. Bastard. Oh shit! It's the party! Great. Oh, Rachel in the dark room. Anyway, uh, that'll have to do us for today because it's stupid late and I would like to go to bed. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for some Dying Light with the boys. Should be real fun. Uh, might even play something else to, uh, before we start up. I'm not 100% sure if I have anything to do tomorrow. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you then. Bye-bye! Do I have something to do? You'll know. Cool.